Okay, this is Food for Thought. Today we're going to be making uh, spaghetti bolognese. Huh? And we're going to fry the pork down first. We've got a half a pound of pork here. I'm going to brown up first. And I'm making a herb butter spread for my uh, toast. And I'm going to make a busting now so I'll crack it to make the uh, spaghetti pie. We got this meat brown in here nicely. Turn the heat down a little bit. We've got the butter melting here for the garlic. Slip that garlic in there. In there. I got thyme and sweet basil and oregano and uh, some rosemary in here. Now I'm going to brush this over the top of my uh, soups on both sides. And that's all. Just let that melt down. Meat is still partially frozen, so it's taking a little bit longer than anticipated. Okay. Now we're going to put all the onions. Carrots, the peppers, all the uh, all the ingredients in the garlic. We got red and green peppers mixed in there, and a little bit of celery. Look at the color on that. that down so it's nice and soft.
Okay. Let's get some spice in here. Put about one heaping tablespoon of uh, paprika in there. Ah! All over the stove, all over the side of the fry pan. That's all right, it can be cleaned up. Mix that paprika in there nicely. Okay, we'll just put all the herbs in there. Boom! Well, now I got bit on that one. Burning up yet. Mm. Okay, everything pretty well blended in there. What I'm going to do is give it a splash of red wine. the meat brown in there pretty nicely. Let that reduce a little bit. Next you can add the crushed tomatoes. Blend that all in there nicely. And One twenty-five four ounce jar of your favorite ragu. Rinse it with a little water, hot water. Add the water. Okay, now we only have to add the spice in here and we're all set to go. I'll let this stew down a little bit. What we'll do is we'll take half a teaspoon of cologne. One full teaspoon of onion powder. A little bit of black pepper. A couple of bay leaves. bit of dried oregano. And of course the salt. I'm using sea salt here because uh, it holds up a lot better. It's got a totally different taste than table salt. Okay. About a teaspoon of salt. I got some granulated sugar here. I'm going to use one teaspoon of 
sugar. And that's it, my friends. She's ready to stew down. Get ready for the spaghetti pie. And uh, we'll be back after with episode two.